Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we are going to get Roblox working on Windows Vista, that's right, you heard that correctly. Oh, and the reason why it says build 7601 is because of this application spoofer I have right here which is osver.ini. Oh, and the reason why it's on my desktop is because every time I try to overwrite the one in the Windows directory, it gives me an error for some reason. But thankfully, I found a solution to that. Yeah, as you can see, it's just it's just not working at all. It's just it won't change for nothing. So basically, I just copied over, I just copied this over to my desktop like that, like this. Yeah. So basically, just to disable the application spoofer, simply just do this. Yep. Just put an asterisk next to global, right there. Control S, exit out, then copy and paste it in here. Yeah, I'm sure it involves a lot more clicks, but it gets the job done. So, yeah, Windows key R. As you can see, the build number is now back to Windows Vista's build number. But for this tutorial, we're going to want to change this. Simply just get rid of the asterisk next to global, like beforehand. Control S. And do this to the one on my desktop, by the way. And once you've done that, just copy and paste it back into the Windows directory. And there you go, it's Windows 7's build number again. So what we're going to do here is that I've already downloaded the Roblox player launcher file, but you know, in order for this to work you obviously have to have the Roblox player launcher file. And also another thing, if, if the file doesn't open for whatever reason, simply just go here, select unblock and hit OK. And once you've done that, run the program as administrator. And once you've done that, it should install Roblox just like it does on any other version of Windows. As you can see here, look, it's just installing Roblox as normal. And I'll be back once that's done. Okay, Roblox has now successfully installed. And once it has, just click OK. And then exit out of this because you, you won't be needing that anymore. So now what you're going to want to do is right click on the Roblox player shortcut. And then hit open file location and find the roblox player beta.exe file right click on that and open with cff explorer i will link all the software you need for this in the description of the video so if you don't have the software installed you can install it right now so once you have that installed just click open with cff explorer and if it gives you this which it will just click no and now what you do is you go to import directory select mfplat.dll and Simply just do exactly what I'm doing here, look. Focus exactly what I'm doing. And yeah, simply just get rid of this function up here and replace it with the one below, which is where my mouse is hovering over. So yeah, just make it look like this. Make sure these two values, make sure these two columns right here, these two rows are the exact same. Just what I just did there. So now what you're going to want to do is go to user32.dll and simply just search for yeah this right here see so what you're going to want to do here is just copy these values here yep just like this do exactly what i'm doing and there you go both of these should say get foreground window now and now you're going to want to do that another time with the one below here and there you go you, you're going to want to do that in order for it to work so Alright, so what you're going to want to do now is scroll down to the very bottom where it says register touch window and where it says show window just copy all the values from there and paste them over like this. Oh, whoops. Yep, just like that. And there you go. Once you've done all that, simply just hit save, overwrite original file. Oh, and if it gives you this stupid annoying message, all you got to do is click file, save as save it as that and yeah just save it to the desktop and once you're done with that what you're going to want to do is copy and paste this yeah copy this first right click on this shortcut where the roblox shortcut and paste it in this folder and that should do it so now that you've done all that simply just click on the roblox player shortcut and Roblox should start up as normal without any errors. Alright, so now that we have a Roblox game to test, let's open this Roblox game just to prove that this works. 
It is a bit laggy, but that's because I'm running a VM. Alright, so here we are, look. It's working and everything. Yeah, Shrek in the back rooms. <laughs> Brilliant. Alright, so yeah. Now that Roblox works, it's all good, so... But that's not the end of the tutorial yet, so what you're going to want to do now is open this OSVR file. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do is simply just copy and paste this text above where it says global. Just add it up here. Well, maybe not that much spacing, but what you're going to want to do in these brackets is basically just, yeah, I'll sh just right click on here, copy this address bar right here, copy this address, paste it in there, add a slash again, and then type Roblox Player Launcher.exe. And then copy and paste this again, just like that. But then, here, change that to Roblox Player Beta.exe. Alright, so now that you've done that, go to where it says global and type an asterisk. So there you go. It should uh, restore the normal Windows Vista build number because if you have this global option on all the time, it will cause a few issues within the operating system and within other applications. So this will prevent that from happening. So what you're going to want to do once you've done that is hit Control S to save it. Copy and paste the INI file just modified. And then overwrite the one in the Windows directory just like this. And hopefully I've done this correctly. And Roblox should just work as normal. Which it does seem to be doing so at the moment, which is great. Yep, there you go. So this is how you get Roblox running on Windows Vista. Honestly, God bless the extender kernel. It is, it's great. It's made a lot of progress so far, the Windows Vista extender kernel. So, yep, yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you get Roblox running on Windows Vista for any of, yous, for any of you who have wondered. So yeah, be sure to like and subscribe for any future uploads so you don't miss out on any more tutorials and all kinds of other content I make and I will see you soon. Goodbye.